Firm, 11-9-75 the GDFL, they lead Central Highlands 10-13-73. Benson gets the first tap down for Central Highlands and gets it away to Powell for the first kick inboard. Ricketts across the uh, line with Parker at half back. They get the handball out. Peters, oh, that's holding the ball. Yeah, you can't do that, unfortunately. And 55 out, Central Highlands will have a kick for goal. Ball comes back to Christian Alley, who's kicked three. Plays on quickly. Gets it inboard. Ball spills to the back. And uh, turning around was Young and had a kick, quick kick for goal. Put Two through for one behind. So one goal, three. His personal tally, 10-14-74. Central Highlands, GDFL 11-9-75. 40 seconds played in the final term. Smith's holding Blood Suzuki final quarter scoreboard. No, Lucky Parker now kicking in from the fullback position. We said probably not likely to go short, although he does. And oh, for God's that, sake, Luke, he kicked the bloody thing long. Ball turns over and it goes to Nolan. So Mick Nolan. <laughs> Seriously, you can't have a name like Mick Nolan being that size. <laughs> <laughs> At least Michael Nolan. <laughs> he, he would have fit in one of Mick Nolan's socks. <laughs> 25 metres out directly in front. A chance to regain the lead for the Central Highlands. Comes in, as I said, 25 directly in front on the left boot. He goes, and he's shanked that That's one. A shocker. And our scores are all tied up, 10-15. What happens if it's a draw? We'll play again next week. We'll be back here next week. 10-15, <laughs> Central Highlands, 11 goals nine. We might go to the video for a score check. Luke Parker. <laughs> Comes in, goes long this time, looking for love it. Rickett goes up. Front and centre was great by McLeod. Runs through the centre, bounces, backs himself, draws the player. Handballs it away to Tom. Back to McLeod. Through the middle, right foot kick. It's full short. It's OK because Mays was in front. Took the mark in front of Jenkins. And still 45 out from goal. Still think he needs a lead. This might be testing time. I was going to say, just, on his, just mm -hmm. on his, uh, his, range. his range, I think. 45. Better on the run too, but he's kicked two. This afternoon, and this to uh, make the margin six again. He comes in, gives it everything he's got. Oh, the goal umpire hey, does not lot. move. Beautiful. You uh, blokes know. Nathan Gee. Mays kicks his third, and the 12th for the GDFL, 12 9 81. They lead Central Highlands 10 15 75, and that's on the Smith's Holden Blood Suzuki final quarter scoreboard. Two and a half minutes played. People are going to have a go at me because I always say about the good players and always bring him up, but Brent McLeod had two. Beautiful possessions and that that set up the goal. It was a great goal by Nathan Mays. And I tell you what, McLeod, he's, he, he just keeps doing it, doesn't he? He's just, he, and he? And I've seen him play better, but the things he's done today, most of them have ended up in goals. Back in the middle of the ground. Both had rough and go at it. Tap down. McLeod's going to win a clearance for the Judith L. One we haven't seen for some time. Goes into the forward line. Fulton doesn't take the mark at ground level. Tom will applies a good tackle. Fulton, a bit of strength, gets out of the contest. Picked up by Mays. Oh, he got him. Oh, he did. Oh! You idiot! You have got to be joking! He's pulled his head off, you, you idiot! Unbelievable! Turn it up! Jesus! Paul goes God backwards. The Mark Gilbert Bloody goes back hell. to the goal square. Jen Jenkins gets the ball, goes wider, out to Barringer. <laughs> he did the uh, Joel Seller pretty well there. You I thought, are I thought he's going to win possession. Me. Uh, picked up there, Mian turns oh. the ball over and he goes straight back over to bounce uh, over the boundary line and out of bounce on the full. They, that, I don't care where this video is going to Central Island. That has to be cheating. Oh, it's not cheating. I That's just wrong. He got himself on the wrong side of the pack. He may wrong. not have seen where the contact was wrong. made. But, uh, Barringer. Barringer comes out and goes long. Picks up. Goes wrong. Goes out long. Picked up there. And it's going to be picked up. A free kick. You tell Hillgrove to ring major in the week and I'll have a go at him. Ridiculous. Stupid. Stupid. Absolutely wrong. Wrecking football. Wrecking football. Ball is thrown in the boundary line. Tapped down this time. Free kick goes. Well, not the kick goes into the forward line. Mark not taken by Tom. Picked up there. Clearance. Uh, Central Highlands about to get themselves out of trouble. But a holding free kick has been given. <coughs> and Central Highlands to win another one. Transfers play. Goes across the face of goal. Mark will be taken out there by Gilbert. Gilbert handballs over the top. Morgan through the middle. Runs, carries the ball, looks and goes into the forward line. Good kick from behind. Mark is not told. Mark was taken there yeah, by right Elliot. Elliot goes into the forward line. Good spoil from behind by Addy. Taken in the tackle. That was a high tackle. That should have been a high tackle first off. And now he's got one back the other way. 
And this time the resulting free kick goes to Reese Holwell. Holwell comes out wide, goes towards Peters. Peters now uh, needs an option further afield. Peters with it and he's looking for some option. He goes along the boundary line. The kick doesn't have the carry. It's intercepted there. McLeod, will he do enough? Yes, he will because the ball will go over the boundary line. And we're thrown in just on centre wing. So the ball in. Umpire throws it in. Both players go at it. Brought down. Picked up by Gerard. Taken in a tackle. Ball doesn't come out. So there's going to be a ball up to take place. Centre wing. So both sides attacking pretty hard in this last quarter. As I said, there's no tomorrow on this game. Ball's picked up. Hey! And free kick goes to Hutchison. Hutchison. Now with the ball on the defensive side of centre wing. Giving himself some room now. He's a good kick of the football. Needs to drive the ball long. Now he does. It's actually more height than he gets uh, distance. Goes towards Tom. Forks his way towards the front position. Handball go, was going to go inside, but he decides to kick himself. Goes long to the forward the line. Here, Mian, Mian. At the back. Oh. Ball's not going to get to him. At the front, Jenkins picks it up. They're applying plenty of pressure. Central Highlands are good enough to get oh, out of the good contest football. there. They run it away, comes back, and no jam. Kicks the ball into the middle of the ground. Picked up by Benson. Benson looking for some options. Running player outside is a Gilbert. Got a further player wider. Goes outside, and that is Duke on the right foot into the forward line. And it's picked up out there by Young. Spins, goes on his left boot. Goes back to where it's the hot spot. Parker's there. Out the back. Ooh. How let's see it. Picked up. And it's going to be a goal Beautiful to the Central goal too. Chris McGuigan has his first goal of the afternoon. 11-15 Central Highlands, 12-9 to the GDFL. And we have gone six, nearly seven minutes. It's the last quarter, Smith's hold on Blood Suzuki scoreboard. Well, the danger man there was the big block. It looked like he was going to mark it all the way. The defence done a magnificent job just by pushing him under the ball. But they had runners. They had this kid, McGuigan, and he's played pretty well. And he got onto the left foot and put a beautiful goal through. And we have an absolute cliffhanger here. And I must add, that big bloke's got a bit of pace, that Benson. He, he moves all right. Back to the middle. Benson can't get it down. Gilbert's in there. Rides the bump. Gets a left foot kick to centre-half forward. Park it. Read it the better. Took the mark at centre-half back. Chips the ball over the top. Oh. White doesn't take the mark. Needs some support. Holwell comes in. McGuigan's in there again. Umpire says ball up. 60 out from goal. Throw up, love it, gets it down, tries to do his own roving work. Handball came out. Peters gets a clearing kick out towards half back. Jenkins is there in front. Can't keep it in. And a boundary throw in for a throw in centre wing on the outer side. Benson up against Love It. Both get a hand to it. Back of the pack. Duke got the handball out. Dufty gets around three. Play Goes well. to the right foot kick. Over the back. Finlay soon. Oh, should have taken the mark really in the end. He worked Addy past it. Parker on hands and knees. Addy third in line. Picks it up. Runs through half uh, through full back. Gives it away to Peters. Takes a bounce. Runs to half back. Draws a couple of players. Got Watts in support. He handballs it out to McLeod. Has to sit and wait for it. He just chips the ball to Sawney, who takes the mark on centre wing. Man gives him half a lead. Not much to kick to across half forward. Tom has to kick it along the line. He does there. Goes up, takes the mark on centre wing. White gives him a lead. Goes in that direction. Makes up some ground. Good mark. Justin White. He's got Lentini. Tries to draw him over the top. Give it to Lentini. Has to kick it now under pressure. Does. Into the teeth of goal. Grundle over the back. But no. Ballinger in the middle takes the mark. And runs away to the outer side. Handballs it away. They keep the pressure on. Deep in defence. Close to the goal line. And out of bounds, in it's fact. Been, yeah, it's been called out. Goal on post said it hit the boundary, uh, said it hit behind post. So it'll be a boundary throw in centre. Um, Tell you what, pocket. though. The Central Highlands boys stopped. You never do that until you hear the whistle. Throw in. Over the back, Benson. Gets it down to the front. Chandler. Kick off the ground. Came from Duke. Coming the other way. Was Watts. Close to the boundary line. Chandler tried to keep it in. Ran out of... Ran out of uh, space and over for a throw in. 45 around from the GDFL goal. Thrown in. Love it in front. Got it to the side of the pack. Chandler gets it. Gets the handball away to Grundle. His handball off a step was Mays. Going towards goal, but uh, missed it to the far side. 
And out of bounds for a throw-in. Like a talk there, Grub. Yeah, there was. There was. They're getting a bit tired too, I think, both sides. So back to whence it came. It's a boundary throw-in. Love it in front. Benson, front and centre. Mayan lost the ball. Oh, oh that's a throw. He's paid hey. it too. I still don't know. I, I still believe you have to have a little bit of time. The poor bugger never even had a chance. Paid it one end, got to pay it the other. Oh, I know they're paying it, and it's been, I'll give them their due. They've been pretty consistent on it. The only, well, I have. The, the only thing. <laughs> well, the only thing where I said I think they got it wrong is they're paying it in front of the tackle. If the tackle's a bad tackle, you've got to pay the in the back or the, you know, whatever, around the neck. But they seem to be paying this holding the ball before that. And, look, he's been consistent, so it was a free, but he was a bit stiff, the poor boy. So Jason Tom has kicked two goals too. This for his third. He's 20 metres out directly in front. He's missed it. Three for one behind. Well, yeah, it's not that far back to Bannockburn. 12 10 82. <laughs> the GDFL, they lead Central Highlands 11 15 81. And that's 11 minutes gone. Final term. Sis Holden Blood Suzuki final quarter scoreboard. Gee, that was a vital guy. He needed that bad. Jenkins might have gone for the seven point play. Well, they nearly had it then, but the mark has been taken out there by Zeb, who's back on the ground. Had the number taken a little bit earlier in the game. So he's uh, now going to lose the ball, going straight up the middle of the ground. Parker coming across, but it's Marks out there, the big fella, uncontested in Benson. Benson now on the left boot, comes out wide. Nice kick. Mark is taken. They play on quickly. Ball in by Walsh, goes into the half-forward line. Oh, Holwell had it. Went back with courage, picked up by Nolan. Goes long into the full forward position, going back. Addy, Mark not taken. There he is again. The man that started the damage early in the day. Duke, he kicks his second goal of the afternoon and 12th now for the Central Highlands. 12-15 Central Highlands, their lead, the GDFL by five points, who are 12 goals, 10. We have gone 12 minutes. Final quarter, Smith's hold on Blazaziki, final quarter scoreboard. Well, he quietened down in the third quarter a little bit, Duke, and probably didn't give as much as he gave us in the first half, but boy, he ran through then. And they're always in trouble. It's fair enough that a bloke like Duke can do that. I know you're getting tired, but when he goes forward... His man's got to go forward with him. So he has an actual contest to kick the goal. He did that on his own. You've got to run down with these runners. Back to the middle. Fulton in the ruck. Well, Benson, nice tap down to McGuigan. Goes to centre forward. And good mark taken by Young at centre half forward in front of Rickett. Still 60 out from goal. Goes long to the goal square. Addy goes back. Finlay sitting behind. Left. And played for, the, played for the free kick, didn't get one. Parker, happy to see it over. Right heart, forward pocket. Your heart's in your mouth when they kick it high down there to <laughs> Finlayson and Addy. It really is. He's doing a great job too, but he's just not big enough. Throw in over the back of the pack. Good pick up by Nolan. Kick around the corner. And three for one behind. Three behinds off. Got him for Dale. Yep. Yep. 12 16 88 Central Holmes. They lead the GDFL 12 10 82. Smith's holding Blood Suzuki final quarter scoreboard 13 minutes play. Another short kick this time to, to uh, McLeod. He takes the mark. He's shaped to give it away, but he's got a player out wide now. Goes in that direction. Rickett has it. They need to continue to run. Mays looks like he's going to be the next option. Or well, they go longer towards Million. And good work there from Zeb. And he's knocked the ball over the boundary line. And the Judy Fell, another opportunity now just to uh, settle themselves down. Central Highlands calling for their players to get back. So Kieran Fulton doing the ruck work. Up against Benson. He's in there for most of the day. Ball comes out the back. Good clearance there. And it's run away. They're working the ball. Knee jam goes into the half forward line. Going out. Cole, gee, I'll tell you what, he puts himself right in the contest there. He went back with courage once again. And I've been held up now at centre half forward. So ball up to take place right in the true position at centre forward for the Central Highlands. Tapped out the back. Oh, knee jam through the contest. He goes and the kicks are behind. It was a nice bit of play, unfortunately, for Central Highlands. Through for a minor score. They're now 12 17 and 12 goals 10 to the GDFL. 14 minutes gone. Final quarter. Smith Holden, Blood Suzuki scoreboard. They've gone back to this, I reckon, in the last five or six minutes. They've only had four or five touches. They can't get their hands on the ball again. And you've got to say that's due to the good football from the Highlanders. Don't worry about that. So Parker, you've got Fulton and Rickett long. He goes in that direction. You've Benson's also out got there Benson. as well, yeah. Rickett put a hand up. Oh, and then he threw the ball over the top to McLeod. He got the hands out, but only as far, though, as uh, Elliott. Mays against him, kept his, hand, kept his head over the ball. Then he handballed it back into White. Thought about the handball, gives it back to Hutchinson on the left. 
Over the head of Sawney. Has to turn around and go and get it at half forward. Needs some support. Didn't go hard enough. Jenkins did. Got it away. Quick leap to McGuigan, who gets that kick towards that half forward. Hole running back. Peter's running back. They've no mark taken. Should have been. Should have been too. Ooh. Ooh, was that a leg? Yes, yeah, it was. By the legs. Yes, turn up. I think it, it started around the hips, but Sorry. it fell down the legs. Walsh it was. Goes now inside. Finlayson on a lead. Addy against him there. Needs some support. Handball came. Noel, he's got to kick one. He's had that many nah, opportunities. He still missed. Time. Four behinds, Mick Nolan. Down at winning behinds. 12-18, 90 Central Highlands. 12-10-82 GDFL. Smith's holding blood Suzuki final quarter scoreboard. 15 and a half play. So we're looking for the one over the back here just to get the ball out the back and run. So Jakey Peters has uh, gone back down to do the kicking in duties in the fullback position. So he's got the now. Goes to so oh, dangerous kick to Jervis, but it was all right in the end. It got there. He goes through the middle. Up. Good mark, Tom. Does nicely in the middle. Needs to move it on quickly. Not much to kick to, though. McLeod wide. He goes that way. Grundle's there. Draws a player and wants to handball it to the captain. He breaks free. Now he takes a bounce. Nobody comes at him. He takes two bounces. He gets a shepherd. Oh, then he runs into trouble. Sawney, 40 out and closing. Right foot kick and kicks. The one they needed. The one they needed. <laughs> so Sawney kicks the goal. And for the GD, that's the 13th. 13-10, 88. They trail Central Highlands 12, 18, 90. And that's on the Smiths Holden Blood Suzuki final quarter scoreboard. 22 minutes played. Oh, geez, it's a funny old game. They just couldn't get their hands on the ball and get it clear. And all of a sudden, when they did, they look a million dollars. But the, the, the Central Highlanders are just making sure they don't get enough of the ball. And that, that's going to be the tale of the last few minutes, whether they can actually get their hands on the footy. Uh, back in the middle of the ground. 22 minutes for tick by. Ball goes up once again. Thrown down, picked up. White had it. Released it towards Hutchison. Got a handball out the back. Went to Chandler. Tried to get boot to He's ball. He, did, he didn't. Was incorrect disposal. Should have been a free kick. Love it. Working hard. Picked up by Addy. Got away from two. Handball comes out. They're waiting for the runners to happen. That goes back inside the channel. They need to go direct towards goal. That's where they're going. Going towards Fulton. He's up, the big fella. Oh, I thought he had it, but he put it down. Picked up in the ground level. Good clearance work needed. And it's Zebs over the top of the ball. He can't get the ball out. Picked up. Good little hands there. Picked up. And again, there's been a... There's a free kick here. Who too? It's going to go to the GDFL, is it? <laughs> well, oh, I didn't see it. I'm not going to comment on it because I didn't. I just didn't see a free kick there. Well, I don't know what it was for. He had the ball and tried to kick it. And well, I watched the umpire coming in, and maybe I missed him too. I didn't see him give a signal whether it was a hold or whatever. But I don't know whether Jason Tom knows the time. But 23 minutes, you think you'd be just a little bit more urgency and getting back and getting the score on the board, wouldn't you? I suppose if he kicks it. It makes it a uh, pretty close game. Two points, I think, after it. So Jason Tom. Comes in, kicks towards goal. He's got his third goal of the afternoon. 14th for the GDFL. 14 goals, 10. 94. 94, 12, 18. 90, 98. 90. He oh, can't count. Two. That is two. <laughs> Brian. Thank you. <laughs> oh, what we. Oh, geez, I'm on absolutely me. speechless, <laughs> you idiot. I'm absolutely <laughs> speechless. I, I, don't tell us what school you went to because it'll be a blight on whatever, wherever you went. <laughs> So GD lead by four points. You're right. 24 minutes gone. Final term. Finlayson heads back to the uh, forward line. That's why he took his time. Being back there. <laughs> Love it of Benson. Thrown up. In the middle. And well, they get it out again. Central Highlands. And they go along. Finlayson, who just worked his way down there. Tom goes with him. Oh, that's nearly over the shoulder. But he still gets the ball. And there's the siren. siren. They've the won siren. it. siren. It's unbelievable. <laughs> Literally the third last kick of the day. Unbelievable. And the GDFL have won. 14, 10, 94. Look at Brent McLeod there. He kicked the ball away. I thought he thought they lost for a minute. 14, 10, 94 to 12, 18, 90. They have won with the Jason Tom goal in the 23rd minute of the quarter and have won by four points. 14, 10, 94 to 12, 18, 